This video shows how to repair gouges and the damage caused by hand sanitizer on a leather steering wheel. When I bought the XKR, it was after COVID and the previous owner had driven the car after using hand sanitizer, which had dissolved and misshapen the leather steering wheel, leaving gouges and bulges. I'll show you how to save money rather than replacing a badly damaged steering wheel. My name's Bruce and I'm a proud owner of a black 2013 XKR and this channel is designed to share the knowledge that I've gained while owning Sylvester. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell to be notified about more videos about the XKR. I intended to replace the steering wheel after I bought the car and negotiated the price accordingly. But the cost of a replacement steering wheel ranges from 200 US dollars for a second hand one, and that's most likely almost as damaged as the one I've got, and goes up to seven or eight hundred dollars for a new one. And then you've got fitting, which is not an easy task, as the airbag is at the steering wheel. So when I got home, I thought, there's nothing to lose to try and repair it myself. And I'm so glad I did as the results are outstanding and the cost was only my time and about $60 for sandpaper, black leather repair color and a satin sealer, which leaves a nice professional finish. Other materials you'll need is a small water spray gun and several cloths, one to wet the egg and the others to dry. The first step is to use a fine 800 wet and dry sandpaper to start with and then move to a 2000 grade to finish. Spray water onto the cloth to really wet the wheel and apply some to the sandpaper itself, though it won't retain much of the water, it's just water resistant. Take your time and sand lightly with a small piece of sandpaper and keep wetting the wheel with the wet cloth. And obviously make sure no water gets into the controls on the steering wheel. Try to sand out the gouges. But if they're too deep, you'll need to use a filler. You certainly will if there are splits in the leather. I didn't need a filler in my case, but I have used this filler on other leather areas on the centre console in the car. Once the wheel is smooth after sandpapering, let it dry for a few hours. You'll most likely find that the gouges will be still indented, but if they're not too deep, they will fill with the leather repair color dye. So now comes the time to use the repair color dye. Use a heavy grade rubber glove and a cloth. You could brush the color on, but that does lead to brush marks and you'll end up doing another top coat of color to hide the brush marks, which means another light sand as well. So use the cloth, and I've found the cloth works best anyway. It's easier to get round the steering wheel, which is tricky since the wheel is still in the car and the space is limited. Lightly smooth the colour onto the wheel in long strokes, and as thinly as possible. The colour dye dries really quickly, so you can apply a number of coats in one sitting. Try to fill the gouges with the colour dye, but not too thickly this first time though. And if you wipe over areas that you don't want to cover, the wet cloth will remove the colour immediately. And water will even move unintended marks even after a few minutes. Your hands and brushes will also wash out with water. The colour dye dries to the touch quickly, and that means you'll be able to drive the car back to its permanent parking spot after about 30 minutes or so. Which is handy if you live in an apartment like me, where it's too dark to see what you're doing when applying the colour in the parking bay. It means for me that I have to drive the car outside into the daylight to do most things. Let the colour dry hard, best for a day or so, or overnight's fine. But when you do come back, you'll find that there are some uneven spots, especially if you've brushed the colour on. So you're more than likely going to sand again, very lightly, and then best to recolour the whole wheel again. The gouges are still most likely to show, so paint those thickly so that the dye is protruding from the rest of the wheel. You'll come back and sand off those later. Follow the light sanding procedure and apply colour over the whole wheel. So don't be afraid of making several passes until the wheel is smooth and the gouges and splits are invisible. So you're now just left with applying the sealer. 
And this is applied in the same way as the colour with a cloth and using a glove. The sealer is also water soluble, so you can wipe off marks if you've touched other areas. However, the sealer does take longer to dry, so you won't be able to drive the car for some hours to make sure that it hardens. In my case, I did the sealer stage with lights in the apartment parking bay, and this is a result of my efforts. And showing here the same location on the wheel where those original gouges and bulges were located. I'm really pleased with the look of the wheel and feel good about saving the cost of replacing with a new wheel. I hope this video has shown you a bit more about the XKR. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell to be notified when I publish more videos. Thanks for watching.